Hey everybody, it's Rob with Cherry City Guns and Ammo, and today we are shooting a Ruger American Ranch in 450 Bushmaster. <laughs> Stick around. Yeah. Yeah, that 450 Bushmaster hits like a sledgehammer. Um, yeah, so yeah, Ruger American Ranch 450 Bushmaster. It's the Ruger American is you know bolt action rifle they've been making for quite a while. The ranch version, they're all typically a 16 inch barrel and a detachable mag. And in this detachable mag, we've got some torpedoes. Those are 450 Bushmaster. Um, those things thump. I mean, they hit really stinking hard. And what's crazy is they're loaded long enough they can fit in an AR magazine. So you can actually get ARs chambered in this cartridge. Uh, but I kind of like this. I mean, you've got a threaded barrel so you can throw a suppressor on it there if you want. But it comes with a really pretty dang cool muzzle brake right out of the factory. What you need, because this thing weighs nothing i don't know what the weight is on it it's really light it's a super light setup it's only a 16 inch barrel um, they do give you a nice cushy rubber butt pad on it but that 450 bushmaster is such a freaking thumper of a round uh, before i started the video I, I wanted to see if it was on because i threw this scope on there and it's not sighted in i mean it's it's on there and i was able to hit my silhouette at 60 yards and i said that's good enough but i knocked that 60 yard silhouette off of the bracket bracket that it's on um so yeah it hits really really stinking hard and i'm gonna have to go up there in the mud uh where that's at and rehang that thing but not for this video i'm just not doing it so let's uh let's shoot some more stuff we'll see how long my my shoulder holds up i'm gonna save all this brass and uh yeah let's let's see how hard this thing really thumps Let's shoot the Scoops TV gong. It's up there on that shepherd's hook. And I'll even zoom in for you. Now let's see, since that's hanging on a shepherd's hook, let's see how hard that thing rocks when it gets hit by this. Hopefully I'm sighted in close enough to hit that. I guess we'll find out. Nope, I shot over the top. All right, I saw it at least. So I can hold the base, hold the base. <laughs> Wowzers. Yeah thumping absolutely a thumper let's uh what do we want to shoot let's hit the big big one hanging from the chain down there and i just broke the bolts on it sorry that's one of the few steel targets out here i don't own looks like i'm fixing it now the mag's empty let's start hand feeding them as long as we're breaking stuff, let's keep breaking stuff. Let's go over there to the, the plate rack. Yep. Yep, just broke the straps on that. That's pretty cool. Um, 450 Bushmaster just may, may be too much for us out here. Um, let's go back to the Scoops TV gong. Jeez. Oh. Uh, this thing freaking rocks, that's all I know. Let me uh, see if I can fix some things and reset some stuff up and we'll shoot some more and we'll talk about this uh, 450 Bushmaster. <laughs> okay, I didn't really plan this for this video, but seeing how we keep breaking stuff and I'll flash some pictures up here so you can see some picture of the carnage. You know, that, that chain, uh, the one hanging from the chain out there has carriage bolts. I go through square holes and that hit so hard it pulled the carriage bolts through the square holes of the target and left the heads of the carriage bolts square like pulled them how do you pull a carriage bolt through a square hole um don't know but this managed to do it and my uh my plate over there on my plate rack 
we just we tore conveyor strap strap all my plates down there are hanging from conveyor belt strapping um so needless to say this is hitting really really hard it seems to be hitting harder than i expected and i happen to have my chronograph with me it's right oh there so we're going to shoot across the chronograph we're going to do some quick math and we're going to find out the uh foot pounds of energy this is hitting with because i after seeing how it just keeps breaking stuff i gotta know so uh yeah let's let's see how how hard this is actually hitting all right so that is 2084 feet per second let's do some quick math here and if you didn't know how to calculate foot-pounds energy after this, you will. So, open up the calculator. Let's see if I can do this so you can see it. So these are 245 grain. Oh wait, hold on. We don't do that yet. We got 2,084 feet per second. And you square that. So it's velocity squared times bullet weight, which is 245 grains, divided by uh, 450,240. So that is hitting with getting close to 2,400 foot-pounds of energy. No wonder I'm breaking stuff. That is freaking unreal. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do that again because that just doesn't seem right. 2,084 times 2,084 equals times 245 grain bullet divided by 450, 240. Yep, math doesn't lie. That is hitting really, 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 really hard. And since it's hitting really hard, um, I brought some other targets that are intended to be destroyed. And we're going to shoot those now so that I quit breaking my range. So let's shut up, show up the smooth. Let's set up some cool targets that we don't care about breaking. I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, blowing up stuff test number one with a 450 Brake Master. It's no longer the Bushmaster, it's the Brake Master. That's what we're calling it. Um, down there, we've got a lead plate. It is the second lead plate that I was using in my cast bullets, cast lead bullets versus cast lead plate. Um, it was the backup bullet. Um, the only thing it has, it has a dent from where my 500 Smith & Wesson punched through the first one. Um, I don't think we're going to have a problem punching through with the Bushmaster either. Um, it's kind of a foregone conclusion to me. We're blowing a hole in that lead plate. But I'm kind of curious to see what all it does to it in the course of just you know blowing a hole in it so let me zoom in there just a wee bit and let's see what the 450 brake master does to that lead plate you know i actually can't tell if it went all the way through or not let's walk down there and we will find out zoom out here and take you with me. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. Definitely blew a big hole through it. A big, big hole. Big, 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 big hole. Quite large. No problem sticking the thumb through. And yeah, that exit on the back is freaking wicked. So no problem blowing straight through that lead plate, which is about three quarters of an inch thick. No problem blowing right through it. And it didn't even wiggle. Like it just blew through like it wasn't even there. That's pretty cool. Let's go get our next item, which I think will be possibly even cooler. All right, up next, we have a 20 pound block of modeling clay. I've only ever shot modeling clay one other time before, and it was for uh, my 204 Ruger video. And it was really explosive. And being that these are 
245 grain, if I can get it to focus there, 245 grain soft points. I think these could be really, really exciting to shoot at the modeling clay. So I've got this camera zoomed in as much as it will. And then downrange, I've got my GoPro going uh, up close. So let's shoot this thing. And then we will go downrange and take a close look to see what it really did to it. I got pelted by clay. <laughs> I got hit with a bunch of chunks of it. Wow. <laughs> and that, kitties, is why we wear safety glasses. Not that any hit my safety glasses, but. You never know when you might have chunks of clay coming flying back at you at high velocities. But, uh, yeah, we wrecked that block. There's some clay, and there's some clay, and there's some clay, and there's some clay, and there was clay, and there's a big chunk of clay, and actually, I can see pieces of jacket in it. So, let's see. The back of that block is actually still intact, which means that bullet just blew up inside of it, and which is why we have those pieces of jacket there. We had some chunks that are probably off the top. Flew back here. We got some clay over here. We got clay here. We got clay all the way over here. Uh, is that clay too? And we got clay all the way over here and over here. And that's how far we are from the table. So yeah, that 450 Bushmaster did a number on that clay block. Let me clean this up and we'll be right back with you. Alrighty, well, I, I uh, would say that we had a lot of fun with this uh, 450 Breakmaster. Uh, Bushmaster's no more because it broke all my stuff, but Maybe I'm a little sick in the head because sometimes when my stuff starts breaking because I'm shooting it with really big stuff and I know it's going to cost me money to fix it, I still kind of like it. <laughs> um, I had fun breaking stuff with this. It wasn't stuff I necessarily wanted to break, uh, but it's okay. It's all part of the deal. But this is a lot of fun to shoot. You know, this uh, these Ruger American rifles, whether you get the, the range, I mean the, the range, the uh, Ruger American um ranch uh, in one of its many different calibers or you just get the standard Ruger American you know like in a you know regular hunting caliber a 308 a 6.5 Creedmoor um, 30-06 whatever it is uh, these are proven to be really good rifles especially considering how cheap they are they're very inexpensive rifles um, I work side in service at my gun club every year uh, for the the month leading up to deer hunting season and we've had a lot of these Ruger Americans in the ranch and the standard come through. And they they all seem to be really good performers. I've never seen one that isn't capable of, you know, pretty decent shooting. And a lot of them surprisingly like MOA, um, which with a budget rifle, granted it's becoming more and more common these days, but it's still pretty impressive. You know, you can spend under 500 rifles on a full setup that shoots, you know, one inch or better at 100 yards. That's pretty incredible. Um, the trigger on it, it's not a match trigger, but it's pretty darn good. Uh, it's better than the first several hunting rifles that I owned as a kid, that's for darn sure. Um, it's got a safety right there on the tang, which is my favorite place for a safety because it's just, it's convenient. You're on safe, you're going through the woods, woods hunting. You know, obviously I don't carry like this, but you're going through the woods hunting and 
just a quick flick of the thumb and you're on target and uh, this thing here it, it's a pretty cool setup you know this is really kind of like a bush gun type setup it's kind of what i imagine and what it's wearing is a, a vortex strike eagle one to eight power and it's a, an illuminated reticle and i wish i could show that reticle um Maybe I'll figure out something at home and put it up here in the corner. If it's not up there, I didn't do it. Um, but you, it's illuminating. You turn it on. And on one power where you've got no magnification at all, it's it's like shooting a red dot. Like, it's literally just like shooting a red dot, which, you know, in western Oregon, we, we hunt in really brushy country. Uh, a lot of your shots are short distance. And lots of times you don't have very much time. So fast target acquisition is, is very important. And with zero magnification and a red dot, it really helps out. And, uh, you know, I think this would be a viable elk gun uh, within a certain yardage. You know, within 200 yards, I think you could easily go after elk with this. And it's short and compact and light and easy to maneuver. Um, or deer. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed by this rifle. Uh, I might look into some of the other... Rug American ranches like 300 blackout I think would be pretty cool um, throw a can on it and being that's bolt action keep it really quiet it could be a lot of fun anyway I think we're going to finish up um, super impressed with this gun the only here's the downside that I don't like it's a three run magazine and nobody has come up with a solution for any kind of extended magazine so you can only use the Ruger magazine that holds three rounds and they're like 30 bucks a piece um, so if I could change anything, somebody should come out with some type of re replacement bottom metal where you can throw in like AR mags or something like that. I think it'd be really cool. Um, but, you know, other than that one con that I can find, I'm pretty impressed by this rifle. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot it couldn't do <laughs> or a whole lot it couldn't take down. I think you could take down just about anything in North America with it uh, within reasonable ranges. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video. I had a ton of fun making it and had a ton of fun destroying my range. Um, didn't have so much fun cleaning up clay because it's raining out here and it instantly all turned to slime and my hands are totally gray and it took a while to get them scrubbed clean so I could come back and, you know, do my outro here. But it was a lot of fun. It was all worth it. I'm super impressed. Uh, yeah, pick up a Ruger American Ranch. I don't think you'd be dissatisfied if you got one. Anyway, thanks a lot, folks, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.